lace front hair weaves If you wanna get your hair lace Do you wanna come see me? Silk press from the pliers Dreads I can guarantee that you wanna come see me Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. I'm installing a wig that my customer brought with her. She was already braided. What I'm doing right now is putting some hair honey growth oil on her scalp. Now I'm just wiping her edges out with some alcohol. About to put the wig on. Um, Okay, you guys, I've applied the ghost bun glue and adhesive, I should say, and I'm just um, putting the elastic band on it so it can blend, or should I say melt, because she didn't want the cap on, so it's just going to melt to her skin, and right now I'm tacking the wig down because when you buy the wigs that are not custom made, of course they don't fit and she has a small head, so anywhere there was like a little puckle or a puff, I just pulled it back and I'm sewing it down, tacking it down. So it'd be nice and Okay, you guys, I'm pretty much done tacking the hair down, and I'm just brushing it with my wig brush. And it's flat, you guys. Super flat, okay? Now, if I see any other places that need to be tacked down, I'll go in and I tack those down. And sometimes I see a spot that I miss, but this time I'm pretty sure that I tack everything down. And I love the color of this, this wig. I love the color of it. I would wear it. I might even go buy one and install it on myself, you guys. Nope, nope, was I done? Nope, I saw something else. So I started tacking again. And of course, it's obvious that since I'm tacking it, she won't be taking it off. And if the edges um, lift a little bit or slide back, it's easy for her to, to repair it herself, or most likely she'll come to me to um, clean the lace and re-glue it. We melt it. And I'm just going in, feeling where there's a braid, and then pulling the extra wig cap down. Yeah, I did that. And I'm doing it really nice and tight. Now, for real, this time I'm all done tacking it down. And she doesn't get apart, so I'm just brushing it back away from her face. And with her not having a part, she can flip it any way she wants to the left, to the right, or all the way back. But it is up to her. <laughs> Taking that elastic band off. And now I'm about to cut that lace off, you guys. Cut that lace. When I cut the lace, I like to use the eyebrow razor because it doesn't look so blunt like the scissors do. So I'm using the eyebrow razor, but I did use the scissors to design to divide up the um, 
the lathe, so I'll cut off section by section, or should I say the section off the lathe. And then I go in with the eyebrow raise and then snip, 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 snip. Or should I say glide, 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 glide. Well, maybe all the lace wasn't cut off yet, you guys. <laughs> but what I'm doing now, I'm just cutting off the lace with the eyebrow razor. And that's it. And then I will start doing the baby hair. Now I'm sectioning off the hair that I want to use for the baby hair. And after I set it off, I use the even um, hold spray to lay the baby hairs down so they'll stay where I want them. It's still even it adhesive, my bad you guys. I'm tripping today. Um, and then I flatten out the baby hairs for the even on, lay it down. I believe I'm gonna take the blow dryer to it. Yep. Exactly what I did because I want to speed up this process because she has a date with her husband and I don't want her to be late and she don't want to be late either. And I'm just trimming the baby hairs down so that I can mold them into place. And when I mold them into place, I'm going to be using the got to be glued um, in the little black tube. The clear one, I like um, laying it down with that. And I was going to originally do the um, the baby hair procedure that, um, what's that man name? Tay? Yeah, Tay does. But it's a synthetic blend and I didn't want to burn her hair off with the heat. So I just did what I do. And I do what I did. And those baby hairs came out pretty good, you guys. Sometimes, depending on the wig or the lace, um, the baby hairs, I struggle with it. But I really struggle with doing my own, for real. Because I'll be rushing to do mine. But those came out pretty good if I make it for myself. Here I go again, you guys, being out of focus again, out of focus. But I'll get back in shortly, you guys. I apologize. I really do apologize. And instead of putting that elastic band on her head and letting her sit there for a few minutes because she has some things to do, it was her date day with her husband, so I had to get together quick. I just took the blow dryer to it.
even though this is like a synthetic blend, this, I mean, it felt really good and I really like it. I do, I do. I would wear it. I surely would and I might just go get me one. I'm, I'm going to, I'm gonna ask her where she got it from and I'm gonna go right on down there and get it. Or did she did tell me where she got it from. I'm gonna go down there and get it too. Cause I like the length, I like the color. Came out really nice. Okay, you guys, I'm all done now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was having so many technical difficulties, but hey, I managed to get through. Not my best, but not my worst. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And as usual, in closing, as I always say, you guys stay safe and stay blessed.